the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent. Hello kids, how are you today? Fine, alhamdulillah. Today, we are going to make a revision for what we had studied before during this week. Okay, are you ready? Okay. The first revision will be for our world part one. Pupils book page 58 and workbook page 52. As for the objectives of the lesson, we can say that objective number one is to identify eight new words related to food through reading correctly. Objective number two is to predict the main idea of a short reading text by making use of the pictures accompanied with the text. Objective number three is to find out some details of short text about food through reading correctly. Now, before tackling the new material, let me remind you of the words we ha you had studied before. I want you to look at the pictures and try to identify it. Picture number one, what is this? Very good, sandwiches. Picture number two, what can we say about it? Very good, chicken. Picture number three, which word can be written under this picture? Yes, rice, very good. Picture number four. Which word can be written under this picture? Yes, eggs. Picture number five. Which word can be written under this picture? Yes, chips. Very good. The last picture. Which word can be written under this picture? Onions. Very good. In this way, we remember well some of the words you, we had learned before. Now, we come to another part of the words we had learned before. Which word can be written under picture number one? Thirsty. Very good. Which word can be written under picture number two? Yes. Very good. Hungry. Very good. Picture number three. Which word can be written under this picture? Spaghetti. Very good. Picture number four. Which word can be written under this picture? Salad. Very good. Which word can be written under picture number five? Orange juice. Very good. The last picture, number six. Which word can be written under it? Yes, carrots. Very good. Now, in this way, remember well the words we had learned before. Now we come to the main idea of the lesson we are going to read about today. What do you expect you are going to read about? Objective number one is to identify eight new words related to food through reading correctly. Module four, our world. One, say the new words. Breakfast. Lunch. Dinner. Soup. Fish. Cereal, milk, chocolate. Very good. In this way, we learned the new words of the lesson. I want you to look at the pictures and the words under it. Okay? Okay. I'm going to display you a picture and I want you to try to identify it. Who can say it? breakfast. Who can say it? Lunch. Very good. Who can say it? Dinner. Who can say it? Soup. Very good. Who can say it? Fish. Who can say it? Cereal. Who can say it? Milk. Who can say it? Chocolate. Very good. In this way, we learn it or identify some new words related to foods and the drinks. Objective number one is done. Very good. Now we come to objective number two, which is to predict the main idea of a short reading text by making use of the pictures accompanied with it. What are the main objectives? Okay. I want you to look at the pictures and try 
to answer the following question. Question number one. A girl or a boy? A girl. Very good. From where is this girl from Japan? Question number three. What does she talk about? Yes, she talks about the food she likes. What does she like for breakfast? Yes, fish and soup. Very good. Now we come to another part of the lesson. Look at the pictures and try to answer the following question. Okay? Okay. Question number one. A girl or a boy? A boy. Very good. Question number two. From where is this boy? Australia. Question number three. What does he talk about? He talks about the food he likes. Question number four. What does he like for breakfast? Cereal with milk. Very good. And this way we can say that we are going to read about two persons, a boy and a girl, who will talk about the food they like for breakfast. Now, let me ask you about the main idea of the lesson we are going to read about. The main idea of the lesson we are going to read about is animals, healthy and unhealthy food, toys. What is the right answer? Very good. Healthy and unhealthy food. It is the main idea of the lesson we are going to read about. Now we come to do affirmative assessment, workbook page 52. Look and write. Let us read the word is in the box. Milk, cereal, soup, fish. Number one is answer, fish. Now I want you to write the word, the right word in the white space. Okay? Have your time. Have you finished? Now, let me check your answer. Number one, fish. Number two, soup. Number two, cereal. Number four, well, milk. Okay. Objective number two has been done correctly. Now we come to objective number three, which is to find out some details of short text about food through reading correctly. I'm going to play the CD player and you are required to follow me. Listen carefully. Two, look, listen and read. Breakfast, anyone? My name is Hibiki. I'm from Japan. I like fish and soup for breakfast. Yummy. Hi, I'm Jim. I'm from Australia. I like cereal with milk for breakfast. I don't like chocolate cereal. It's unhealthy. Very good. After listening and reading the lesson, let me test your understanding by asking you to do some formative assessment. Activity number two, workbook page 52. Number one. I like cereal with milk for lunch or breakfast. Very good. For breakfast. Very good. Question number two. I like fish and salad for breakfast or lunch. The right answer is for lunch. Very good. Question number three. I like soup for dinner or breakfast. The right answer is dinner. Check your answer. Number one, breakfast. Number two, lunch. Number three, dinner. Very good. Objective number three has been done correctly. Now we come to closure of the lesson. Which food do you like or don't like and why? For example, you can say, I like fish, it is healthy. I don't like chips, they are unhealthy. You can do the same with other pictures. This can be considered as a homework. Now we come to another part of the revision. 
the main objectives is to recall words related to food and meals through listening a transcript correctly and doing a recall exercise. Number two, talk about healthy and unhealthy food or drinks fluently. Now we come to objective number one, which is to recall words related to foods and drinks. Once again, I want you to look at the pictures and try to think of a word that can be written under the pictures. Picture number one, which word can be written under it? Yes, breakfast. Which word can be written under picture number two? Yes, lunch. Very good. Which word can be written under picture number three? Yes, dinner. Which word can be written under picture number four? Chocolate. Which word can be written under picture number five? Yes, soup. Which word can be written under picture number six? Fish. Which word can be written under picture number seven? Cereal. Which word can be written under the last picture? Milk. Very good. In this way, we remember well the words we had learned before. To remind you of the lesson where we listened and read about in the previous part of revision, let me read this summary. My name is Hibaki. I'm from Japan. I like fish and soup for breakfast. Yummy. Now, put true or false. Is this girl from Japan? Yes, true. Very good. Does she like eggs for breakfast? False. Very good. Number B. What does she like for breakfast? She likes fish and soup. Very good. Now we come to another part of the lesson we read about before. Hi, I am Jim. I am from Australia. I like cereal with milk for breakfast. I don't like chocolate. It is unhealthy. But true or false? Is this boy Australian? Yes. True. The right answer is true. Very good. Number two, does he like chocolate cereal? The right answer is false. Very good. Why doesn't he like chocolate? Yes, it is unhealthy. Very good. In this way, we can do a formative assessment. Pupils book page 59, activity number three. Read activity two again and match what they like for breakfast. Okay? Have your time. The Japanese girl likes soup, fish. Very good. The boy likes, yes, cereal with milk. Very good. Very good. In this way, we can check our answer. Workbook, module four. A, a our world. Three. Activity number Listen three. Listen and circle. Three. Listen and one. Do you like eggs for breakfast? No, I don't. I like cereal with milk. 2. Do you like chicken? No, I don't. I like fish. 3. Do you like chocolate? No, I don't. It's unhealthy. I like orange juice. 4. Do you like rice? Yes, I do. It's healthy. Second. Okay. Four. Listen and tick what the people like for breakfast, lunch or dinner. One. I don't like sandwiches or eggs for breakfast. I like cereal with milk for breakfast. Two. I like fish for lunch. I don't like soup or chicken for lunch. 3. I don't like spaghetti or chips for dinner. 
I like soup for dinner. Very good. After listening to the CD player, let me check your answer. Number one. Picture number one. Two. Picture number three. Three. Picture number two. A good job. Now we come to objective number two, which is to talk about healthy and unhealthy food or drinks. Plumply. Uh, put true for healthy food or drinks and the X for unhealthy food. Okay, look and do the same like number one. Chepsi, healthy or unhealthy, unhealthy. Rice, healthy or unhealthy, healthy. Fish, healthy or unhealthy, healthy. Okay, you can do the, the rest where this in the same way. Now, let me check your answer. Okay, number one, true. Number two, false or unhealthy. Number three, healthy. Number four, healthy. Number five, healthy. Number six, healthy. Number seven, healthy. Number eight, unhealthy. Very good. This objectives has been Thank you very much. Now we come to closure of the lesson. I want you to read and write the words in the table. Healthy or unhealthy? Orange juice is healthy food. Chocolate, yes, healthy or unhealthy, unhealthy. Salad, healthy or unhealthy, healthy. Chips, healthy or unhealthy, unhealthy. Fish, healthy or unhealthy, healthy. Very good. Check your answer.